Okay, I got this package from something for PX Express. I have no idea what it is. I cut it open, find out it's my new Zeus wireless smart backup camera. Supposedly installs in 10 minutes, chargeable battery. Just follow these four steps and all these things. So I had a bad experience with one of these already from a different company, so hopefully this one is better. We'll probably give it a try. Okay, so I took the cellophane wrapper off. Let's actually see what's in the box. It is. Oh, there's the actual unit itself. And it's got a little... I always forget to remove the packing cover on the camera. This actually seems pretty solid. Like most of the stuff I bought from Zeus yeah. is pretty well made. Let's see what's actually besides the main unit in the box. There's a two little white boxes. What's this? Looks like okay. Yeah. Oh, there's a bunch of different oh. bolts depending on your yeah. license plate probably. And mounting tape. Even says it has a I screwdriver. The the Let's actually get this out of here. This stuff is pretty well packed in there. If I open both sides. I'm on. Important, charge the camera. So I may start doing that actually right now. Okay. There we go. All right, hold on. Let me show the camera. Stop. Get a cable. You get the usual nuts, bolts, wrench. The camera. Thank you, Mr. Hugo. And mounting plate. While it's charging, I will probably work on getting this mounting plate on. Be aware these boxes are very tightly packed. I almost missed this stuff in here. There is actually a security screwdriver and some mounting foam. So you might want to make sure you look through the boxes, make sure there's nothing in there. That hour. The physical installation was actually much better on this one than I'd used from a previous company. Uh, but then they put that foam, they give you a little piece of foam you put under your plate so it kind of puts some pressure on the plate and keeps it up. That way when you open the car and you close it, the uh, camera doesn't bounce all over, which was a problem I had with a different company's version. So the physical installation went really easy. Pairing this was a little more... Okay, so physical installation is done. It did take me a few tries to pair it. I don't know why, but it did just maybe an extra 10 minutes, but it works now. So here I am, I'm connected to my home Wi-Fi right now, just like I sat in the car. And one of the problems I had with a different company's model is it took forever to connect, or it would never connect. This one, let's time it. I hit the button. You do have to hit the rear there. Now, this is annoying, this safety check here. I don't know why I have to keep doing this. I hope I can turn this off. But from the time I hit that, it disconnects and it connects to the Wi-Fi of the license plate. <coughs> I'd say fairly quickly. And this is a cold start here, so it's always going to take the longest. There we go. Bingo. Now, obviously, once you're in this mode to begin with and you tap out and, for instance, you go back in, uh, it's going to connect a lot quicker. That's a warm start, so that's pretty fast. I'd say the image is pretty good. It's nighttime out there. That's my garage lights on there, but uh, I'd say it's decent. I like it. It's not, you know, it's not as instantaneous as you would with a, you know, a, a built-in camera to the car. But for an add-on, this is definitely good. This is a micro van. I can't see what's back there right now. My assistant is going behind the camera, and oh, look what I've got: a child behind my car. And I can't see nothing in that rearview mirror. Nothing at all. 